Today, I want to tell you why every single day you should do something you hate. I have a question for you. Did you know that you're holding back a hidden superpower in your brain? This isn't some mystical feel good mumbo jumbo. It's science. He was on a podcast with David Goggins and he was speaking about a brain region called the anterior midcingulate cortex, or we're going to call it the AMC. Now, why is the AMC so important? The AMC is the gym for your willpower. This is the part of your brain that gets fired up when you make decisions, especially tough ones that involve uncertainty or conflict. It's like the mental muscle that you use to uh, resist the extra slice of cake or wake up early for a run or say no to attempting but ultimately unproductive distraction. But here's the kicker. So research has actually shown that the more that you engage in an activity that challenges you, so think about a task that you might not want to do, but you know you should, the more your AMC develops. It's increasing in both size and activity. And it's been observed in individuals who consistently engage in these uncomfortable activities. They tend to have larger AMCs compared to those that really shy away from challenges. So this includes athletes who push their physical limits. Also think of individuals who are battling obesity, who are making difficult dietary or lifestyle change. And even more fascinating, studies are revealing a correlation between the size of the AMC and longevity. So it seems that those with larger AMCs tend to live longer and healthier lives. And it's not just about lifespan. The AMC is increasingly being associated with a stronger will to live. So this suggests that the willingness to embrace discomfort, to do the hard things, this might be a key factor in not just surviving, but thriving. Now, most of us live in this cozy little bubble called a comfort zone. It's familiar. It's easy. It is the enemy of AMC growth. By avoiding discomfort, we're essentially depriving our brain of the very stimulus that it needs to develop willpower and resilience. It's like expecting to build a muscle without ever lifting a weight. And I'm not talking about quitting your job and becoming a nomad and traveling all over the world and putting yourself into these exceptionally high stress environments, although if you want to do it, it's cool. I'm just talking about taking baby steps consistently outside of this little cozy bubble that all of us live in. It's about facing your fears. It's about taking on challenges that push you to grow. This is how you activate and strengthen your AMC. This unlocks your full potential for personal and professional success. I want you to think of a few scenarios. If you're an entrepreneur, if you've ever thought of putting off a launch of a product because you were afraid of failure or you were afraid of how people would perceive you or judge you. This is an opportunity to grow your AMC. Your AMC was begging for a workout. If you are an investor and you hesitated to pull a trigger on a big investment, again, AMC growth opportunity. If you're a creator, if you're stuck in a rut, if you're afraid to try a new style or a new medium because the type of content that you posted on TikTok for the past five years has worked and you don't want to go outside your comfort zone, this was an opportunity to grow your AMC. So when we talk about AMC and we talk about growth. One of the best analogies that I love is the Goldilocks principle for growth. Just like Goldilocks in her porridge, there's a sweet spot for when it comes to discomfort. There's an optimal spot for discomfort and getting outside your comfort zone that will actually benefit you help you grow your AMC and help you grow as a person. Too little discomfort and you're not challenging yourself enough. Too much discomfort and you, you risk burnout or just straight up overwhelm. So Huberman's framework helps you find that perfect balance, the zone where growth happens. Now there are three zones of discomfort. There is the comfort zone. So this is where most of us spend our lives. It's familiar, it's predictable, and it's boring. Nothing new happens here. Your AMC is basically asleep. Next is a panic zone. This is the opposite extreme. It's a realm of extreme stress, anxiety, and panic. And while short bursts of intense stress can be beneficial, if you spend too much time in the panic zone, this can actually be detrimental to your health and your well-being. And then there's a third zone, which is the optimal discomfort zone. So this is a sweet spot. This is where you feel challenged, but not overwhelmed. This is where you're pushing your limits, but you're still in control. This is where your AMC gets the best workout. So how do you find your optimal discomfort zone? How do you operate in this happy medium where you can grow, but not burn out, but you don't want to stay the same. So this is what you do. Step one, you identify your edge. What scares you a little bit? What are you curious about, but you haven't tried yet? That's your edge. 
Step two, take small steps. So don't try and jump from the comfort zone straight into the panic zone. Start with small, manageable challenges that push you just beyond your current capabilities. Step three, embrace the suck. It's gonna be uncomfortable, that's the whole point. But remember, discomfort is a sign of growth. And then step four, adjust as needed. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed, dial it back a little bit. If it feels too easy, push a little harder. The key is to find the right level of challenge for you and your particular set of circumstances and your lifestyle and what you feel okay with. Now there's a second thought that came up in that podcast. So Huberman was speaking about something called the dopamine connection and it all ties together. So what is the dopamine connection? What is dopamine? Huberman speaks about dopamine through the context of its role in motivation and decision-making. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter that plays a very important role in reward motivated behavior. When we take on a challenge and we achieve our goals, our brain releases dopamine, which makes us feel good and it motivates us to keep going. However, dopamine isn't just about pleasure. It's also about learning and adaptation. So when we push ourselves outside our comfort zone, our brains release dopamine, which helps us learn from our experience and adapt to new challenges. So this dopamine release doesn't just happen after we succeed, it also kicks in when we anticipate a reward or a challenge. So this anticipatory dopamine gives us the energy and the motivation to push through discomfort and tackle the challenge head on. Said simply, if you start, you're gonna get a dopamine release that's gonna allow you to do the hard things. And then there's this reward mechanism built in. So it ends up being a flywheel that you can only take advantage of if you really start to take action. So when you think about the optimal zone for growing your AMC, for getting out of your comfort zone. I mean, this whole YouTube video, this whole podcast could be summed up in just saying, if you take action, this is the first step. And I wanna just take this home with one last analogy. Discomfort is not a tax you pay on success. It's the investment that you make in it. So every time you step outside your comfort zone, you deposit into a high yield account called personal growth. And the dividends, they compound over time. The dividends are resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and thrive in the face of adversity. Dividends are adaptability, the capacity to pivot, evolve, and innovate in this very rapidly changing world. Dividends are confidence, this unwavering belief in your ability to conquer any challenge that comes your way. And the dividends eventually will be success. It'll be the achievement of goals that once seemed possible. See, Staying comfortable is a choice, and there's a cost with that choice. It's a choice to settle for mediocrity, to play it safe, to live a life of unfulfilled potential. But remember, the comfort zone is a mirage. It promises safety, but it delivers stagnation. The comfort zone is a prison. It confines you to your current capabilities and prevents you from reaching new heights. And the comfort zone ultimately is a thief. It steals your dreams, it steals your ambitions, it steals your chance to create a life that you truly love. So the path of discomfort is a path to extraordinary achievement. This is a challenge I want you to take on right now. Identify one area of your life where you've been playing it safe, set one ambitious goal that scares you a little bit, and take one small step towards that goal today. Don't overthink it, just start. The discomfort you feel is proof that you're on the right track. And remember, comfort is the enemy of greatness. Discomfort is the price of admission to the life that you dream of. You have to ask yourself, are you ready to pay that price? Your future self is watching and they're either going to thank you or curse you for the decision that you make right now.